Hi everyone, uh, we are going to make paper today, Not uh, probably not uh, what you think, but uh, let's see, so I really wanted to make my own paper, and I've seen a lot of videos, but it's not going to happen, all those uh, tearing about paper, and then with the water, and what putting it on a net, not going to happen don't have the time don't have the room for it not now at least so i was uh, thinking how can i make my own paper and utilize uh, things i already got so of course i'm going for my paper napkins these are the white plies layers that uh, each paper napkin has and i've got a boatload of it because I'm always using paper napkins. So, what I came up uh, with, I've got here two plies and I've got here another two plies that I haven't separated. So, first of all, you just put it um, on uh, something that it won't stick, like uh, uh, some kind of nylon, nylon or plastic, and you spray it with water, a lot of water. You can uh, also uh, move it a little bit, but be very careful. You don't want it to tear. I don't like. I don't mind the wrinkles. It's going to be more interesting with the wrinkles. As you can see, I'm saturating it with water. Okay, I'm going to, now. I'm taking the other two plies and I'm putting it on top of this and letting everything catch the water, absorb the water and I'm going to put more water on it because I, I can see areas that don't have water okay now it's saturated with water now I'm going to uh, color it I've tried uh, several things the the best uh, that uh, came up from my experiment was uh, this kind of sprays are these are a marabou art spray mixed media and they worked the best here but I also tried sprays that are for textile for fabric this is a local brand they are uh, heavier than any other spray that i have and they are not transparent so the water here is good for like fusing the two uh, the the layers of the napkin and this is heavy so it will stay uh, on the napkin and it's not transparent I've also used my uh, regular sprays that are made from food coloring and it worked really nicely although it wasn't so vibrant as this kind of uh, sprays so I'm taking uh, these sprays ah, of course it's not working now yeah okay I'm going to take other colors since my uh, aubergine and magenta didn't work take now one of my regular sprays because I want to add a little bit more color but I want it uh, transparent I'm 
just in some areas that have too much white for my taste. Okay, now I want to add interest to my uh, page or paper for <laughs> that matter and I'm going to use uh, this uh, sprays that I told you are for textile or fabric and I'm going to uh, try and splatter them on this paper I'm using the fan brush for splatter okay and now I want to add gold now this I don't want it uh, in a splatter but with the fan brush I want something else I've just dipped uh, a paint brush inside and I'm doing this <laughs> yeah don't even know what to call it Jason Pollock, that's it. <laughs> that's what I will call this kind of splatter. <laughs> okay, here is my paper. Now it has to dry completely. So I'm moving this aside. And I'm going to show you what I made. So, one, and now why do I call it paper and not paper napkin because now that I have the four uh, layers fused with the water it's sturdy as any kind of paper I can punch it I can uh, do whatever I want with it while uh, it was only paper napkin layers I couldn't uh, do many things with it so I've got my own designed paper here is another example, again sturdy, I can do whatever I want with this, it almost uh, feels like fabric or like a uh, rice paper, the thick ones. Here is another try, this was only with my uh, food coloring sprays, as you can see it's not uh, uh, vibrant as the other stuff, but I've done another experiment uh, it's not here but uh, when I've uh, cut and glued it and uh, the glue or the varnish whatever went up on it it made it more vibrant I don't know why maybe some kind of reaction between the the food coloring and the glue so this is another example here is one here I tried also after I made the, the same uh, thing as the other ones and this is also from uh, only the food coloring sprays I've put varnish on it and only in several places and I don't know if you can see but the places with the varnish uh, made the paper transparent and uh, it's kind of interesting and I need to experiment more with this uh, kind of thing maybe even not with the varnish but with and it was a water based varnish here I tried something else this is uh, only two plies and before I uh, fused them with the water I took a uh, I've cut leaf shapes out of a, uh, pages from a book, glued them very gently to one ply, then put the other layer, and then a lot of water. And I only sprayed it uh, gently with one of my full coloring sprays in light blue. So that's 
what came out of it. And I've also tried, uh, because I like the, this one with the leaves, I've tried uh, putting a string between plies. It didn't work. I'm going to experiment more and probably do another video about it. So these are uh, my homemade paper from uh, napkins and I hope you'll find it useful. I think I have here the one that was with the string, if you want to see here, it just came apart. It didn't didn't hold but I will still use uh, this for other projects this is not paper this is very flimsy because these are just the layers they are not fused together so this is it for now I hope uh, you'll make beautiful paper and I'm waiting to see uh, how it looks when this is dry so bye for now